Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about multiplication of decimal numbers. Suppose we want to multiply two decimal numbers 6.3 and 2.52. So for this we will follow certain steps. First of all, multiply two given decimal numbers as whole numbers. So here, to multiply 6.3 and 2.52, first of all, we will multiply them as whole numbers. That is, 63 into 252 will be equal to 15,876. Now, count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in both the decimal numbers. So here, in the first decimal number, there is one digit on the right of decimal point and in the second decimal number, there are two digits on the right of decimal point. Now, as the third step, add the number of digits counted in both the decimal numbers. So, over here, 1 plus 2 will be equal to 3. Now, finally, as the fourth step, place the decimal point in the product by counting the digits from its rightmost place. So here, the product obtained is 15,876. Now, we will count three digits from its rightmost place. So here, we have three digits. And thus, we will place a decimal point over here. So, 6.3 into 2.52 is equal to 15.876. So this is how we can multiply two decimal numbers. I hope this must be clear to you. Now let's move on to our next topic. Multiplication of decimal numbers by 10, 100 or 1000. To multiply a decimal number by 10, hundred or thousand we move the decimal point in the number to the right by as many places as there are zeros over 1. For example, let us take the number 12.763. Now, if we want to multiply it by 10, then we will move the decimal point in the number to the right by one place because in 10 there is one zero over 1. So, this will be equal to 127.63 Here we have moved the decimal point from here to here That is one place to the right Now to multiply the number 2.05 by 100 We will move the decimal point from here to the right 
by two places as there are two zeros over one in hundred. So this will be equal to two hundred five. Next, let us take a number thirty one point five two and let us multiply it by one thousand. So here we will move the decimal point to the right of the number by three places. Because in thousand there are three zeros over one, so this will give us thirty-one thousand five hundred twenty. Thus, in this session we have learned the multiplication of decimal numbers and multiplication of decimal numbers by ten hundred or thousand. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye. Take care and have a nice day.